Thanks for joining us. I'm Juliet Goodrich. And I'm Brian Hackney. It's a special edition of KPIX 5 News covering the fire emergency across the Bay Area. We'll begin with a live look at the heavy smoke hanging over the Kincaid Fire in Sonoma County right now. It's burned 30,000 acres and it's just 10% contained. 79 buildings have been destroyed. 31 of those are homes. But driven by peak winds of 76 miles an hour just north of Healdsburg, more than 31,000 structures are still threatened. Now, this shows the latest mandatory evacuation areas in Sonoma County, now up to an historic 180,000 residents, and that's the largest ever in the county. In Napa County, there is an evacuation advisory for Calistoga and surrounding areas. People there are being told to be ready to go at a moment's notice. Thousands of firefighters are positioned in strategic locations ready to deal with things like this. Spot fires flaring in neighborhoods downwind like this one in Windsor. The dramatic scene playing out this afternoon on Buena Tierra Court just west of Foothill Regional Park. KPX 5's Katie Nielsen is there live. She watched the firefight. Katie? Yeah, Brian, it got pretty intense this afternoon, and this is all because of the winds. So what was happening is the fire burned into Foothill Regional Park, which backed up to that neighborhood. Then the winds were picking up embers, throwing them ahead of the main fire into the neighborhood, creating spot fires. And that's what you are seeing firefighters fighting. So what would happen is those embers would end up in some dried brush or maybe up against a backyard fence. That would start a fire. From there, sometimes even the homes would catch on fire. We actually saw two homes that had fires in the attic. And what firefighters were doing is they were making sure they got those fires out. That's because when we talked with Captain Foxworthy from Cal Fire, one of the public information officers, he said they knew if one of those houses was allowed to go up in flames, they could lose the entire neighborhood, reminiscent of what we saw in 2017 in Coffee Park. And that is exactly what they don't want to have happen here. That's because this is a neighborhood that is right on the outskirts of Windsor. And if something like that were to happen, we still have those strong wind gusts blowing in the area. Granted, they aren't as strong as what we saw overnight and early in the morning. Things have calmed down a bit, but the wind is still strong enough to pick up those embers and again, blow them out ahead, create those spot fires. And that's why these resources were being positioned exactly where they were. So we've seen a lot of the fire trucks driving up and down the streets in the neighborhood. What they're looking for is smoke coming from the backyard, smoke coming from the eaves where maybe some embers have gathered in one of the gutters, smoke, fire, embers spread, something like that that would tell firefighters this is a problem we need to jump on it before it gets any bigger. So that is the plan for this neighborhood tonight is they want to try to continue this structure defense. And one thing that we have been talking about all day today is the importance of evacuations. And let me explain why. That's because if there are still people in their homes, firefighters can't do structure defense. They have to go into a rescue mission because no matter what, saving lives is their top priority. But if there's no one in the homes, if everyone has already evacuated, then firefighters can focus on the property. And that's what they were able to do today. That's one of the reasons why they were actually able to save this neighborhood up until that point. They were not having to do rescues. The roads were clear of any people who lived here, so they had access to all of the homes. They had access to all of the fire hydrants. And so the main message that Cal Fire wanted everyone to take away from today was today was not as bad as it could have been, mostly because of the preparation that people were able to do yesterday during those evacuation orders. Live in Windsor, Katie Nielsen, KPIX5. All righty, Katie, thank you.